Hello friends, it's me, Mr. Slovaki here again, for some more story time. We are going to be continuing with one of my favorite books, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Last time we left little wizard Harry, he just finished doing his shopping with his friend Hagar. In this chapter, it's called Chapter 6, Wizard Train. Harry finally getting ready to go to his special wizard school. Before we begin, I just want to do a special shout out to one of my awesome students who make a Mr. Stavaki t-shirt for me to wear when I'm making Mr. Stavaki videos. Sometime I show you the whole thing, on the bottom is a picture of me lost in the woods because one of Mr. Stavaki's first videos was him very lost in the woods. But you came here today for Harry Potter, so let's get started. Chapter 6 The Magical Wizard Train Our chapter start with Uncle Vermin taking Harry to the train station so that he may catch a train to Hogwarts. It is very tense ride because Uncle Vernon is not very happy that Harry be going to wizarding school. I'm not happy that you're going to wizarding school, he tell him the whole ride, but Harry does not care. He is finally going to be free of the Dursleys. Uncle Vernon was the most cross he had ever been, except for the time with the owls, but he was very angry. Harry, take your stuff and be on your way, as he threw it out of the car. Just before Uncle Vernon ride away, he says something very mean to Harry. Hopefully you get yourself blown up at your wizard school like your parents did, so that way we won't have to deal with you anymore. As he wheeled away, Harry was left sad and alone on the platform, with no one to find out how to even get onto his train. Whoops. As he set off with his luggage to find a cart to get to platform nine and three quarters, just like his ticket say. Harry set off down the tracks to find the platform he was supposed to be on, he pushed his luggage cart until he came to platform 9. But then, he see platform 10. Where is Harry supposed to go? His tickets say platform 9 and 3 quarters. This is such a difficult position to be in. He is all alone, trying to get to the wizard world with no one to help him. As Harry stood there, wondering how he was going to get to his train, or if he would even be able to go to school, a kindly looking old lady wandered out from around one of the corners, followed by many red-haired children. Oh, are you new to wizard school? said the nice lady. Oh yes, I am, said Harry to her. Well. My name is Mrs. Weasels, and these are my children. This is Fred, and George, and Percival, and in the back is the little Ronnie. So, if you want to get to the wizard school, I can help you. All you have to do is run at that wall very quickly, and you'll just go right through, poof, like magic. I will send some of my kids ahead to show you how it's done. Percy was the first to go. He ran full speed at the wall and disappeared onto the other side, like some sort of magic. Harry thought to himself, Wow, that is some sort of magic. Next, it's the twins' turn to go. They also run full speed at wall, and they, as they bout to hit it, they go right through the wall before Harry's eyes. He cannot believe it. Harry, believing with all his might, run at the wall at full speed, so that he can hopefully get through the wall. And much to Harry's surprise, he come popping out on the other side, waiting for him is a sight he cannot even behold. 
such a magical thing to see. Harry could not believe his eyes. Sitting there was the Hogwarts Express, such a magnificent and beautiful train. Sitting there, waiting to receive students, headed off on their journey to the wizarding world. It was an adventure that Harry thought he would never be able to see. But here he was, getting ready to leave the Dursleys, and getting ready to go off on his own wizarding adventure. Well, said Dottorani, we cannot just sit here all day. Let's get on board this train and get ready to go to school. Goodbye, Mom. I love you and I will miss you. Uh, goodbye, nice lady, said Harry to the nice lady. Uh, thank you for all of your help in getting on the train. Of course, said the nice lady. Make sure little Ronnie takes care of you so that you know how the train work and how you will safely get to school. Have a nice time! As Harry and little Ronnie make their way down the train, try to find a seat as the journey get underway. Boy, there are sure a lot of people on this train, said Harry to little Ronnie. Maybe we could find a seat here. Excuse me, girl, can we sit here in this seat? Of course you can, she say. Please, make yourself comfortable. Harry and little Ronnie make themselves comfortable. They start talking to the nice young lady, her name Hermione. So they talk all about it themselves, and Harry divulges the information that he is famous, and suddenly they are interrupted by a surprise stranger coming to see them. Good day, mates. It's me, Neville. Uh, I know you do not know me yet, mates. But, uh, have you seen a toad? I'm looking everywhere for it, mates. Uh, actually, do you mind if I just sit here? Perhaps my toad will come find me if I'm hanging out with friends. As they continue to talk to each other and make their acquaintances more, the nice lady with the food cart make her way down the train. Hello. As they continue to talk and meet each other's acquaintances, the nice lady with the food cart makes her way down the train to offer them a snack as they ride to Hogwarts. Would any of you like anything off of my food cart? Oh, that's right, you would like some chocolate? Here, let me get it for you. In fact, why don't I just leave this here and you pick from it what you you want. <laughs> As they continue to talk and make each other's acquaintances, the nice lady with the food cart make her way down the train to offer them a nice snack. Hello dearies, would you like anything off of my food cart? I park it over there so that it's out of the way. The children take some of the chocolate and they take drinks, and they decide they're going to gorge themselves on food. Here, let me get that for you. I will, will leave this right here for you, and if you want anything, just take it. I'll come back for it. Soon, their picnic interrupted once again by the slimy boy from the wand shop. Well, hello there. I thought that I told you to make better friends, Harry Potter. Look at you here, hanging out with a bunch of nerds. Look at my cool friends. This is Crab. Wow. And this is Goyle. Goyle, show yourself to my new friends or enemies, whoever they are going to be. Well, we don't want new friends or enemies. We have plenty of friends right here say the people that are sitting enjoying their picnic. Well, I suppose that we better be going then. I hope that you don't make any foolish mistakes at school. <laughs> As he laughed somewhat evilly to himself. And with that, the rest of the train ride was uneventful. They eventually change into their wizard clothes and arrive at the station to the Hogwarts castle. As three friends 
Harry, Ron, and Hermione, they get off the train at the Hogwarts station. Excited, they race over to where they see their Harry's old friend, Hagar, waiting for them with the boat. Arr, good to see you again, Harry. And it looks like you made some new friends on the train ride over. You will have to introduce them to me later. But as you are first years, I must take you in my boat to the big castle, I mean school over there. Now, young lady, get up off the ground and all of you join me in my boat and we will make our way to Hogwarts Castle. And with that, they set off on next... And with that, they set off on next leg of the adventure to Hogwarts Castle to be able to get sorted into their houses to become... <laughs> and with that, they set off on big adventure in the little boat to Hogwarts Castle so that they may become true witches and wizards. Harry have nervous in pit of stomach, but he know that his life about to become grand adventure. Hello again, friends. I hope that you enjoyed Chapter 6 of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Please make sure you come back again next time so that we may continue our story. And make sure in the meantime, you make my students happy by giving a thumb up button and also hit the subscribe button on this side down below so that they know that all of Mr. Slovakia's friends are watching the shows with them. So until next time, make sure that you have a nice time.